Well, real excitement here. The signing has been completed and we're about to see his debut. Will he hit the ground running? Hello, it's great to be with you and no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. My name is Derek Ray and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson and the focus is on live action from Ligue 1. It's Mets up against Monaco. Well, cheers, Derek. It was a good start for their host in their opening match. They put in a solid performance. They got the three points they wanted and they can now look forward to this one with some confidence. So the initial 11 for the home side. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And let's have a look at the Monaco starting lineup. Well, a 4-4-2 system relies on good combinations all over the pitch. The front two, the central midfield pairing, the fullback and winger, and of course the centre backs. If you can get these combinations right, you'll have a good team. Very much looking forward to this as Monaco get things underway. Alexander Bach. On the ball, Noah Okafor. Return to Richarlison. Body on the line. Now defenders having to cover up. Is this the moment? A goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. in the right place to intercept Hugo Ekitike and slipped through beautifully Kosu Mensa and fine use of the ball fine tackle there to prevent the chance Okafor Richarlison Pepe no, High quality defending John Morcillo Well good idea But just a little bit too much on the ball Yusuf Fofana Nicola Pepe. Opportunity in the wide area. 
Well, clearly in the mood to make it a double, but fine goalkeeping. Well, he's playing really well today. That was another decent attempt. Taken short. Oh, moving it nicely. And a significant block following that cross. Terrific block. Lucas. Back with Richard Lasson. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Kakachi Jody Shota Liberato Kakachi and with that the attack fizzles out and they know they need to stop him Pepe Richarlison can they keep it out Richarlison Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Pepe. Textbook defending inside the box. Now can they counter clinically? Well, Monaco have seen a lot more of the ball in the last 15 minutes and with it have created some great openings. They certainly look as though they get another before too long. Making high pressing work for them here. Or is Charleson? Chota. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Okafor. Toure has it. Moving it forward. An attack full of promise. Oh, really good reflexes and danger averted. Well, just listen to the crowd. They know this is a big chance to equalise. Can someone get on the end of this? Placid away. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. And that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick. De Frutos. Richarlison. Can he finish? Determined defending. The Sage. It's with Timothy Fosu Mensa. dealt with that ball comfortably oh good looking run could play it in oh great defending Bofana on the ball Richarlison Mitchell Backer Pepe Lucas and blocked for now opportunity and the keeper there to deal with it
playing it in the first half here comes to an end And so the match is underway. Body on the line. Now well, defenders having to cover up. A goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. Well, clearly in the mood to make it a double, but fine goalkeeping. Well, he's playing really well today. That was another decent attempt. An attack full of promise. Oh, really good reflexes and danger averted. Well, just listen to the crowd. They know this is a big chance to equalise. Lucas. Opportunity. And the keeper there to deal with it. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Oh, he's really opened them up here. And the attack carried promise, but petered out. Pirama Toure. On to Pepe. Richarlison. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Well, I think many of you will have been wondering where the story was going, but we can tell you now the transfer business has been done. Fabian has completed his move to West Ham United. Yeah, at that price, I think he's value for money. He'll certainly improve their squad and maybe the team. It's a good signing, you have to say. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Well, let's see if something comes of this. Hosu Mensa. And moving the ball nicely. But then the one that goes astray. Backer. Now with Pepe. Okafor. Richarlison, vital intervention. Oh, what's he gone and done? And a goal! They've increased their lead, and they don't want to be throwing it away from here. Well, here it is again, and how many times have we seen this in recent games? Teams trying to play out from the back, not doing it particularly well, giving away sloppy possession and then getting punished. It's a really poor goal to concede. Two nil now and back underway. Thirty minutes to go then. What can they do to stop him running at them? And players waiting in the centre. Richarlison. Oh, good save. <laughs> and time for the change now. And a short corner, let's see. 
Pepe. It could be up for grabs. Well, they can keep possession now. Well, what a magnificent save that was. It really was top-class goalkeeping. More excitement from Liga coming your way on EA TV. It's FC Metz, and they'll be facing Paris FC. It did look on for them, but not to be. Well, those stats don't surprise me. Monaco have certainly had more of the ball, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. Yes, it might be on for them once more. And unable to keep the ball. Well, not giving the opposition a look in. That's strong play. Of possibilities inside the box. And he cuts in from the wing. A long way out. Well, the keeper made the save pretty easily in the end. Well, you want to make sure you stay with us for more live action from Liga right here on EA TV. It's Monaco versus Montpellier. So the final whistle almost upon us, and this is not exactly what the home fans had in mind when they arrived at the ground today, Stuart. Well, there are two main reasons why they're losing this game. Firstly, they've not shown enough desire to close the opposition down, and secondly, they haven't defended their box well enough. It's been a poor defensive display. Okafor on the ball Diata a chance to whip it in Lucas well, shielding the ball admirably Pepe on to Richarlison oh really commanding goalkeeping And with play stop, they will make the change now. <laughs> Taken short. Richarlison. And an astute piece of defending. Can he find the right pass? Well, the cross needed to be better than that one. And the referee says corner kick. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, a disappointing effort, making the keeper's life a bit too easy. The Sage. And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, as a defender, that will suit you down to the ground. Very quick thinking there. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? 
but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Adams. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. Yeah, they did play well today, which was surprising because I thought they were good in their opening game. This could be a reality check for them. Body on the line. Now defenders having to cover up. A goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. Well, clearly in the mood to make it a double, but fine goalkeeping. Well, he's playing really well today. That was another decent attempt. An attack full of promise. Oh, really good reflexes and danger averted. Well, just listen to the crowd. They know this is a big chance to equalise. Lucas. Opportunity. And the keeper there to deal with it. Richarlison. Vital intervention. And a goal! They've increased the lead, and they don't want to be throwing it away from here. Pepe, on to Richarlison. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. The Sage. And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. They will now make use of their... Voilà, c'est l'heure de la réaction à chaud de l'entraîneur. Mais tout d'abord, merci de votre disponibilité. Merci beaucoup. And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And very excited to be bringing you live action from Ligue 1, the top division here in France. It's Paris FC, and they face Metz. Well, Derek, the visitors come here after a mediocre start to the season. They just haven't looked at their best. Maybe a little rusty, maybe adjusting to different tactics. Whatever it is, they need a win here today. This is how it looks for the home side. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, no surprise, really. They're matching up here but there are many different ways they can approach this game. And I just think they'll be cautious today, certainly early on.
And so the match is underway. Morcillo. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Promising sequence. He has time to play it over. And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. But the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Now goal news to bring you from one of the other games. Here's Alex Scott with the details. It's a goal for Angers. They're the first on the score sheet here with six minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. How about the cross? Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. But wait a minute, that will not count. Well, that was tight, but he was just offside. It was a good finish, though. Chance to cross. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Opportunity! And quite simply, a wonderful chance was squandered. Well, news coming through. I understand there's been a goal in the Rennes game. Alex Scott can provide us with the details. It's a goal! The goalkeeper did all he could, but no one was going to stop that one. They've scored the opener here with 18 minutes on the clock. Thanks as always, Alex. Fonsu Mensa. And the corner kick, the referee's verdict. Let's see about the delivery. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Cairns. Lopez. Jesse Demagui. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. This could square the game. And still an opportunity. Well, threat over for now. Liberato Kakachi. Trevor Shalaba. Kakachi. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Jory Shota. 
with the pass and back in play. And the problem not completely solved. And that's a straightforward stop. Well, that would certainly have put them in a great position. But with only a one-goal lead, they're never going to be able to relax. Well, they're on the ball, and they've just got to forget about that moment of misfortune. Guy Lavogui. Oh, excellent diving stop. Well, it's a great chance here, and don't these fans know it? Playing it short. Lopez. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Guy Lavogui. Intercepting it intelligently. The Sage. Osu Mensa. Just the challenge that was required. Gori. Terzic. Options in the middle. And he keeps going. Oh, he needs to clear it here. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Chance to play it in. A fine block. Who can he pick out? Well, no real accuracy, and easy for the keeper. Demangue. Morgan Guilavogui. Julian Lopez. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. John Morcillo. And the referee sees that as a foul. Free kick given. And he whips it in. And there it is, the half-time whistle. And so the match is underway. He has time to play it over. Can't miss, surely. In it goes. But wait a minute, that will not count. Well, that was... Excellent diving stop. Well, it's a great chance here, and don't these fans know it. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Good physical play.
looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game a very timely interception Jody Chotard this might be ideal for the counter will they profit from this situation now he must favour the cross and a goal kick given well great news for Newcastle fans the transfer has gone through it is now official Stuart well the reported fee of about £40 million is just about right I think both clubs will feel they've done well out of this one but only time will tell Well, the games keep on coming right here on EA TV. We have more live action from Liga Uber Eats. It's Paris FC versus Montpellier. And what a game that will be. Two good teams in a great stadium. I'm really looking forward to that one. And the flag was up in good time. It's offside. Well, he should have realised that was going to be offside. That's a poor decision to play that pass. Well, they'll be happy to have regained possession. Oh, moving it nicely. Off the post and back in play. Well, nothing comes of it. Well, it was certainly a chance to get back into the game. And you have to say they're a bit unfortunate. But they do need to finish off one of these chances. Well, it should boost their confidence but they can't afford to drop their guard at the other end. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Corner conceded, it came off the defender. Delivering it. Well, far from the ideal header. And the goalkeeper had it all the way. And into the last 30 minutes now. Wonderful chance. They were playing fluent football, but then the foul. And now you would anticipate a yellow card. Well, the referee has taken note of his name and number. Well, I think he can count himself a bit unlucky there, but it was certainly a foul. Crossbar. More excitement from Liga coming your way on EA TV. It's FC Mets facing Nice. Oh, could be. Well, it's great when you can rely on your keeper. And the referee has given the corner. So maybe scope here for them to add to their lead. Now sending it in. Well, closed down straight away. Fruitful looking attack. And still looking for space. The cross is on. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Offside, a tight one.
Ndiaye. Twenty minutes to go in this one. Regain possession. Well, as you can see, the visitors have controlled the possession in the last 15 minutes and have been pressing to extend their lead. They just need to be a bit more clinical in front of goal. Yes, it's going to plan, and they might be able to carve out another chance. And the flag does go up. Must have been close. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Jesse Demingue, Adek Benro, and with that the attack fizzles out. Johnny Shota, this might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Pressing high to win the ball, surely. Well, it wasn't the best piece of finishing, in all honesty. Goal kick. Yeah, it was all good until that final effort. Just shows you how devastating they can be on the break, though. Now, I'm hearing that something has happened in one of the other venues. A goal there. Alex Scott with the news. It's a goal for Angers. They now lead 3-2 with 80 minutes played. Thanks as always, Alex. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Hugo Ekitike. Igor. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left, and the margin just one. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. And they will make the change now. Gay. Chance to play it in. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Julian Lopez. Gila Bogui. Now can they turn one of these attacks into a goal? A deft clearance. And blocked for now. And the referee has decided to add on three additional minutes. Igor. And so the final whistle here. The visitors come out on top, Stuart. Well, they were good today. Some of their passing football was excellent, but they do need to show a bit more consistency. Can they now keep it going? That's the big question. Already no complaints whatsoever about his performance in this game, Stuart. Yeah, good performance and a really critical goal to give them the lead. They just couldn't cope with his movement today. And the match is underway. He has time to play it over.
can't miss, surely. In it goes. But wait a minute, that will not count. Well, that was... Oh, excellent diving stop. Well, it's a great chance here, and don't these fans know it? Wonderful chance! Well, the referee has taken note of his name and number. Well, I think he can count himself a bit unlucky there. Oh, could be! Well, it's great when you can rely on your keeper. And the referee has given the corner. So maybe Scott here. Well, it wasn't the best piece of finishing in all honesty. Goal kick. Yeah, it was all good until that final effort. Just shows you how devastating that. Merci de vous livrer à la traditionnelle séance de questions d'après-match. Merci pour votre disponibilité.